So the man to my right is a TV star, he's an author, he's a lifeguard of over 17 years, he's a firefighter, he's been voted cutest man in Australia <laughs> by my mum. <laughs> and today he's going to test if I have what it takes to be a Bondi lifeguard. I reckon you do, mate. Yeah. I reckon you have what it takes. Uh, I've, I've seen a few of your videos in the past of all the stuff that you've been trying and I reckon you've got it what it takes. So we'll have a bit of fun today. Basically, what we'll do is we'll do a lifeguard mission. Is what when we do our training, we do like a, a two swims, two boards and a run. We'll do some flags. We'll do some rec rescue techniques with the rescue tube and the rope. And yeah, we'll just see. I reckon you got what it takes, but we'll have a bit of fun with it along the way. Perfect. This is Troy Tries Surf Life Saving with Trent Matty Mackel. So, the flags is a sport that's been around surf life saving for a long time. And um, as lifeguards, we don't necessarily do it part of our training. However, a lot of us that grew up in nippers and surf, yeah. surf clubs, we did it growing up. So today we're going to be doing a flag race. Perfect. So you happy with that? Perfect, yeah, love it. Cool, love man. It. So you ever done it before? No, never. All right, so the idea is you've got the line here, straight line. You've got to have your back to the flag. Oh, All right, okay. so if you line up. Yep. So come oh, over here. Awesome. All right, <laughs> the rule is, so if you put your feet, put your feet into the, to the line, shoulder, Oh, the arms width apart. Yep. All right. And then what you do is you don't you don't look back. You can get disqualified by looking back at the flag. So you need to make sure you keep keep your eyes and your face forward. Yep. So what you do is the the starter will say, "All right, drop down." So we drop down to our knees. We clear this area. Make it nice and flat. Okay. All right. And then you just lay down like so. Make sure that your feet are together. And in still in the, the nook of the, the line. Yep. Arms like this, but you want to have your hand over each uh, hand, whatever hand that you want, doesn't matter. All right, and then basically, you, yeah, legs together, feet together. All right, nice and still. And then the starter will have you looking forward. Yep. And it'll be like heads up, and then it'll be like heads down. Heads up, heads down go but the sequence is always changing so it could be heads up go or it could oh, be okay. heads down heads up go or it could be heads down heads up heads down heads up heads down go yeah so basically you you can kind of have a gauge on when it will go but you it's kind of like tracks um you know track sprinters and stuff you're waiting for that ready set bang yeah so it's kind of like a Bit of strategy yeah. there. Yeah, no, so, I didn't realize yeah, they could so, go whenever. So practice, heads up, heads down, and then if he plays a whistle, go. So go is basically up, turn, whatever, whatever the best way you do, and yeah. then you sprint off. As you're running down, you either dive or grab the flag. And so that, like, as so we're getting close, through, so we might be, we might be, we might, or not so much budging, but you know, we're yeah, close enough. Flag. And then, and then if I get it or you get it, vice versa. Yeah. And if they do it, if they do it with nippers and stuff, is there like, like just one less flag? So if there's ten yeah. people racing, they so just do nine. So if there's ten people, and... then they'll do nine. Yeah. And then yeah, and then it brings down to the to the last one because there's yeah, only me cool. and you. This would be classes to the final. Yeah. Perfect. And uh, yeah, so it's actually quite it's a it's a fun game to play with, you know, your kids. Yeah. Or uh, kids' birthday parties if you got a beach party or, or something where you can get the kids involved it's it's quite fun it's qu pretty competitive and you know there's a, there's a few skills that go with it um, you know again we'll hop down I can show you how quick like just by watching me I can show you how quick I'll get up so heads up heads down so it's all speed yeah you know tactics however you do it so yeah you might not necessarily be the quickest runner, yeah or like, you might you might both time. turn this way or you might go that way or you might like yeah. there's so many different tactics and, yeah um but it's it's, it's fun so yeah, you want to have fun. a crack absolutely it's all the right, first bro. time i've made a grand final for anything <laughs> <laughs> no that's not true mate i've seen your videos bro you go all right okay all right so feet on the line so in this case mate Arm width apart, drop down. Again, you just want to 
cover all the divots, make it nice and flat so you can get up nice and quick. All right, feet together. Okay, heads up, heads down, heads up, heads down, go. I ate sand. <laughs> Good stuff. You got it. Ate a bunch of sand with it, but. <laughs> well done. It. You got the win. But it, that's exactly what it's like, bro. That's fun. That's... So, see how we were both like kind of. And you put the burst on, but I overshot the flag. Yeah. So, you know, again, tactic. You dived. There's so many different ways you yeah. can go. So, that's, um, well done. That's fun. That was cool. Thank that you. That's cool, man. Need to go wash my mouth out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Troy. So we've got some life-saving equipment here. Um, occasionally, we do use a rescue tube, but most of the time, as lifeguards, we use the rescue board. So if you see on a rescue, we're always doing rescues on our rescue board. But I find it very important to teach people like yourself how to rescue someone without necessarily having to get wet and or going in the water with a flotation device. So first things first is... Where would you usually see these? Like on the back on, of a boat. Or at the back, the back of, of a boat, it, yeah. where else? Like, think about the beach, somewhere else. Swimming pools. Swimming pools, like that, yeah. perfect. So if you see this hanging up at a swimming pool and you see, um, you know, little, you know, hopefully not, but little Archie could be in trouble or, or drowning. If you go to rush in that situation, do you rush in that situation? I know it's your son. Yeah. No, you <laughs> yeah. would. Yeah. But this is what we're trying to get people to think. You can still rush in and help your son or someone else. However, always go in the water with a flotation device. Yeah. Can you, why, why do you think it's important to go in the water with a flotation device? I think just like minimize the risk to yourself. Like rescuers, you can't help someone if you're in 100%. Trouble. Rescuers drown too. And um, far too often we hear tragedies happen where people rush in, especially down here at the beach into rips. People get stuck, they rush out with no flotation device. Uh, a couple of things could happen. The person that they're rescuing can climb all over you and drown you or you might not be the best swimmer yourself. That person goes out around onto the sandbank and you're out there, look for that person, then you drown. Yeah. So let's go back to the pool setting. You know, Archie's in the water, you need to go out and rescue him. You see this hanging up um, near the lifeguard station at the pool, you grab it. How do you reckon you'd put it on? This Just, maybe yep. like yep. around my hips or? Yep. Perfect, awesome like that, mate. So what you want to do is you want to make sure it's on like that. Yep. yep. Grab onto the tube, all right? And then you're ready to launch in, jump yep. in, all right? So as you swim over to this person, to come towards me, is that still safe? No. What could happen? You could push on my shoulders. Even though you've got the flotation device, yeah. I could still hurt you. So what you want to do is, hello, I'm Troy, I'm here to help you. You know, say that? Yep. Hey, I'm Troy, I'm here to help you. <laughs> All right. To open the tube up. So, yep. So you got the end to the tube. So you keep the distance between me and, and you. Yep. So like that, yep. Grab onto the end of the tube. You say to me, grab oh, onto yep. the end of the grab tube. Grab onto the end of the tube. All right, I'm on? Yep. Okay, and then this is where you reassure and calm the patient down. Yep. Hello, I'm here to help you. Grab onto the end of the tube, remain calm. Stay calm. Yep. All right, so you say that? Hey, mate, I'm here to help you. Hold on to the tube. Okay, Stay sweet. Calm. Thank you so much for helping me. So what you do then is I put my arms over like this. Yep. You come around the back, and then you got the hook there yep. and the clip, and you clip it on to the ring. All right, sweet. And yep. then you swim me back to shore. Sweet. Cool. Swim me. Sweet. Here we go. All right, good stuff, mate. Perfect. So, again... As a dad, you've got a son, you've got family members, you see someone in trouble, of course you got to go in and help them. Yeah, 100%. All right? But let's just say it's a river, dam, murky water, really cold conditions. What are some of the other equipment that you can use without you having to get in danger yourself? It's so like a rope would be a good one, not having to get in. And awesome. Yeah. Okay, so again, let's just say you're on, a, you're on a camping holiday, you're at a dam, it's really cold, middle of winter, um, you're yeah, having fish and chips at the end of a pier. One of you, maybe not Archie, I don't want to use yeah. your son each time, <laughs> but let's just say you see someone falling into the water, okay? You know that it's murky, it's dangerous, you're probably not the best swimmer yourself. Are you rushing that situation? Yeah, 
ideally not. Like ideally you not. Want to look after yourself first, right? So at a pier or a dock or around water, sometimes you might have a bit of rope. Yep. There might be a long stick. There might be a rescue tube. There might be a life buoy. There might be all sorts of different equipment, fishing rods, eskies, soccer ball. Yeah, when it's all these death, things you can use to throw out to someone to rescue them. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate someone out off a dock. Yep. All right. What you do is again, hello, I'm here to help you. Yep. I'll go out. So, so uh, hello, I'm here to help you. Yep. You need to remain calm. Okay. So what you do is I'm at the end of the dock. Grab onto the rope. Okay. Grab onto the rope. Out of the end of the rope. Okay, I pull in. So what could happen to me if I pull in you in? Stop there. If you pull. If I pull too hard. I'll fall in. Yeah. So what you want to make sure you do is get down nice and low and pull the person in. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. I just want to kind of go through a couple of different little rescue techniques. Yeah. So for you at home and people that are watching can know what to do in an emergency situation. Always remain calm. Do not panic. As stressful as it, as it is, if you're a family member or member of public, always remain calm, reassure the patient that everything's gonna be okay. Ideally know your location, call triple zero, get the emergency services on the road to your location to be able to help you and your family or whoever you are helping. Yeah. And not just in a water situation, that goes for sprained ankles, broken bones, allergic reactions, resuscitations. Yeah. The list goes on, so um, you know, it's. It's what I'm very passionate about. As a firefighter and a lifeguard, I see tragedies happen all the time. Yeah. And what I like to do is to make sure I give everyday people, kids and young adults and adults, um, the opportunity to learn life skills to survive their worst day and make sure that um, they can help themselves and help others and they know what the hidden dangers and the risks are. Yeah, man. It's incredible. Sweet, man. So you happy incredible. with that? Yeah, no, love nah, it. It's, good. it's all good, bro. So I know there's a little bit to it. It's probably your first introduction to it. But... You as a person at home, on a family holiday, going down to your local shopping centre, if you know where the defibrillators are, if you know where the emergency phones are, you know where the emergency equipment is, fire extinguishers, fire blankets, the list goes on of things that you can do to help the community and help yourself and help others. So yeah. just think about um, the power that people have to be able to give back and help. Yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome skill and every once in a while someone should uh, sit back, read up, learn a few things, and then they'll be able to give back. And that's what Live, Learn, Survive does. So it's very incredible. fortunate to be able to do that. And um, we're going to have a bit of fun in the water now. Awesome, so that'd be good. Awesome. No, thank you, you got any that. questions? No, man, you explained it so well. It's, it's just such a good point. And like, you don't want to get to that position. You don't want to get to that scary point where, you know, someone's life might be at the line and yep. be unprepared. So having these sort of <coughs> chats, even if it's not your first time, like even if yep. you do it, like having this constantly is... Um, it's so important. And Just thinking outside the box. And, and unfortunately, tragedies do happen to all sorts of people. Yeah. If you, are, uh, if you know what to do in those emergency situations, you are going to be somewhat okay because you're going to, in your mind, you've already played the scenario in your head. Yeah. Similar to what you said, but the martial arts and all the other stuff that you've tried is I'm sure you've had advice before where people would say, if you play the scenario in your head, you do the movements, then you're ready to act on it when nature calls yeah. and you need to help someone yeah. and it's a beautiful skill to have absolutely the because best, uh you know as a firefighter it could take uh five to ten minutes for us to get to you as a lifeguard it might take a couple of minutes you know seconds do count in these situations so hopefully uh you learn a thing or two and definitely did we definitely can do a, a a second edition one day maybe we could do a fire safety side i love it that'd, that'd be, be cool. great yeah this season of troy tries is brought to you by lightweight athletic club if you're after premium quality athleisure wear made in Portugal with a 14 day returns policy, you need to hit them up. Use code FATHER for 15% off your next order. Hey Troy, so we've done flags, we've done uh, rescue techniques, now we're going to do our lifeguard M shape. So each year, uh, the lifeguards for our training and for our research to actually be lifeguards, we do a M shape or a mission, lifeguard mission. And basically what it is, it's a 400 meter swim. Yep. 400 meter swim, come in, grab the boards, a 400 meter board paddle, come in, and then we do like a 600 meter run. Yep. And then we do another 400 meter swim, 400 meter board paddle, 600 meter run, finish. Yeah, perfect. But today, because it's your first time, we'll have a little bit of fun. Obviously, we don't use these sort of boards. Yes. But this is just for a bit of fun. It's kind of like a big body board, really. Yeah, perfect. Um, you're quite buoyant. 
and it's you know it's a little bit of a challenge. Yep. Uh, but yeah, we'll we only go probably maybe 50 meters out. So we'll swim out, we'll swim in, we'll come up, we'll run around the rescue tube. Yep. We'll grab the boards, we'll paddle out, probably halfway out again. Yep. Turn around, maybe get a wave in. Then we'll run around that green sign, yep. around the, all the uh, up around this stuff up here. Yep. Come back down past the rescue tube, and then we'll do another swim. Yep. Come in. Another paddle. Another paddle, and then we'll finish off with a run, and we'll finish just here. Do you have a um, a time you usually have to? Make? Yeah. So, good question. So um, it's not about first, second, third, or last. The way that we measure it is we all do it as a group, yep. as, a, as a team. As we go through the actual M shape, the first person past the line, there's a five minute timer from that. Okay. So it might take us 30 minutes, but then the person that comes 35 and five seconds might have to do the test again. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna take it nice and chilled. We're just gonna just throw the arms over, have a bit of fun with it, get wet. Perfect. And um, yeah, we'll just see where we end up. Easy, let's go. All right, cool. when I'm praying, uh, when my back is turned on, only time they wanna see it, uh, water on me, floors cold as ice, I'm finna trade, yeah, serve it to the people, they need hope, there's no delay, yeah. the odds against me, back against the wall, I'm my straight Finna say, tell it to your mammy, it don't matter, I ain't listening anyway. They just mad to see the side to drop, they look like ocean spray. You can get it too if you just work more than you talk today. This what happen when you take your pain and make it motivation. It ain't gonna be easy trying to be a legend. It's the payment, you need execution, not excuses, dog. You gotta face it. They don't want the truth, but if you quit, you don't deserve to make it. What you think they giving greatness out? Now nah, you gotta take it. They don't know the hustle, they confused when they look at you. Till you hit your goals, they all shine, they think you. Yeah. I can't respond. 
played it. I'm in a gym, but I am not flexing. Came from a Ford, I'm needing a Lexus. Shooting like Luca, I told him I'm next. Shit. Oh my god, I'm just playing with him now. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm just playing with him now. Yeah. That takes out with Doc Roddy and my underestimated that one. <laughs> How's that? Underestimated that one. This is the hardest one you've done, I reckon. <laughs> just getting like pump out of the way yeah. from the horn. I might knock it out. Those, those boards are quite hard Yeah. to stay blown on, but mate, you pick This is still rolling. Yeah. 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 Can you imagine yeah. uh, when we're in a you race? Just grab the phone. Um, you know, oh, yeah. go through a lifeguard spot. Oh, yeah. A bit quite competitive. 100%. But, uh, but mate, you did a great job. Um, you know, someone that's never done it before. You know, two swims, two boards, two runs. Mate, would you say some of the the challenges you've done, it's a different type of fitness, isn't it? Oh, so different. So different. Even uh, just the challenge of the waves coming out. Having to navigate through the surf. Yeah. Can you imagine if it's six foot surf and there's one I just coughed it, just drank the water and I'm like, oh my god, I'm like 30 seconds into this such. <laughs> Yeah, man. Pretty close to the playlist in the arms to get you resuscitate me, but you could feel you could feel it in your chest. You yeah. actually the burning in your chest, you know, so it's cardio, muscles, strength, it's not it. Yeah, the, so it's like kinda of like a triathlon but yeah. in the, with the surf. With like an uh, added element. Yeah, so yeah, I knew you were a tip bugger, but that's how big you were. Nah, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good uh, thing. So people watching at home. Obviously, do it in a safe environment. But if you want to challenge yourself, go get yourself a surfboard or a paddleboard. Go down to your local beach, away from the flags with your board. But, you know, do some, we call them ins and outs. So, you know, swim out, get a wave in, run out to the back of the beach, paddle out. And you just build up that fitness and that resi uh, the resilience that way. Yeah, it's good. It's a good, it's a good session. And you'll definitely feel a lot better for building it. Get ready I'm for ready. summer. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> good stuff, Greg. But, um, that one cooked me. I like when you said 50 meter swim, 50 meter paddle, and short jog. It's like, oh, this will be easy. Like, I've done some pretty tough things on this series. And that first swim, I like yeah. got out to where you were. And I'm like, yeah, I'm it's done it's, for here, man. People <laughs> underestimate it. So, yeah. you can imagine, um, you know, if you not the uh, you, you see someone out the back and you could go and help that person, you could see how. Only swimming 50 meters, you can be quite gassed yeah. and you know, throw in a bit of panic and throw a little bit of um, not knowing what's going on. You can see how people can get in trouble and drown. So, yeah. um, not that you're in that case, but it's a it's a really good thing that we do. The lifeguard M shape, it gets us nice and fit, so we can do rescues out there. Yeah. So my challenge to you is next time you come down here, we'll go a little bit further and we'll we'll have another crack. I'll prep myself for the full one. For sure, hey? mate. For full sure. One. But man, I um I can't thank you enough. I know how busy you are and all the incredible things you do. So to take the time out, man, it, nah, it means a it's, lot. It's, it's, it's all good, man. I learn a lot, not just physically and how much I need to work on this, but also, um, yeah, the safety aspects of things and, you know, feeling a bit more confident if something were to happen. Good stuff, mate. Being it's a bit more prepared hear. and you got me got me hooked. I'm, I'm ready to come back. I'm ready to be better. Yeah. And Bondi sweet. Lifeguard Troy. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Season 20 of Bondi Rescue. Season 20. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, it is season 20 next year. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but mate, yeah, it's been great to have a bit of fun with you this, uh, this morning. Um, you know, anytime, bro. We'll uh, we'll make it happen, and maybe we can do a firefighter series. We're definitely doing a firefighter yeah, firefighter series. Firefighter series coming like out of Bankstown, and um, we can do some stuff out there. So Perfect. Bondi, Bankstown. Uh, but yeah, man, um, you did great out there um, with the rescue techniques as well. Hopefully, you don't have to do it, but it's just good to keep in the back of your mind of what to do in an emergency situation. But yeah, keep up what you're doing. Um, following the series and. Look forward to seeing what um, more stuff, more crazy adventures and challenges you do. Thank you, thank you. Before we before we go, there's some incredible books that Maxie's done. Um, kids, even for me, I just enjoy them myself. Yeah, but yeah definitely, definitely going to be reading these to Archie. What, what were the yep. books? Called yeah, yeah. So, um, so Live Learn Survive is uh, basically a charity slash business that we have where we educate kids all over Australia and the world about life saving education around fire safety, water safety, and first aid. We also created a couple of children's books, four children's books that kind of coincide with what we try and teach. So each book has got messages within those books to be able to teach the kid reading it and also the teacher and the adult reading to the kid. Um, but yeah, we're just chipping away, making sure that uh, education is is getting out there through us doing face-to-face -face stuff online, in the books, the podcast. Um, but yeah, mate, live, learn, survive, check it out. Yeah. It's something that I'm very passionate about and uh, you can find out more through socials and through the website.
Perfect. You're an incredible man. This was an incredible episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. See you guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you could, it would be a massive, massive help if you could like, comment, subscribe, share this out, tell a friend, really spread the word. If you're after training programs, you wanna train the way I do, so you're ready for challenges like these, check out the description for this episode and you'll see a link to my training programs. If you're after lightweight clothing, have a look in the description as well and you'll get 15% off with Code Father. Thanks again, guys.